Congress is back in session with new leadership and Republican control over both chambers and with one Trump appointee, Representative Matt Gates, notably absent. He issued his resignation letter effective immediately of Congress. Um, that caught us by surprise. Trump tapped Gates to serve as attorney general. The nomination came as the House Ethics Committee was in the final stages of its investigation into Gates over allegations of sexual misconduct and illicit drug use, sources tell ABC News. If Matt has resigned and is no longer a member of Congress, the ethics investigation will cease uh, and no report will be um, issued. Since Gates is no longer a member of Congress, the committee has no jurisdiction over him. The report won't be made public. And Gates, who has denied any wrongdoing, is now Trump's pick to lead the department that investigated him for years. Confirmation by the Senate is likely to be an uphill battle. I think it would be absolutely essential in investigating his uh, background and his qualifications to have access to that full report from the House. Also potentially facing an uphill battle, Trump's pick for Defense Secretary Pete Hegseth, receiving pushback for saying women should not be in combat roles. Hegseth served in Iraq and Afghanistan before becoming a host for Fox News and has never worked in government. I respect his, his service and the fact that he's a decorated combat vet, but you know, it takes weeks to figure out where the bathroom is in the Pentagon. The Republican-controlled Senate has elected its new leader. South Dakota's John Thune was chosen by his peers via secret ballot. Trump reportedly favored Senator Rick Scott for the position, though he never officially endorsed anyone. Christiane Cordero, ABC News, Washington.